Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sebastian here and in this video I want to teach you how to find hot products to sell, physical products to promote on Facebook, on Pinterest or other types of traffic sources that you are using. So today is actually a very very sunny day, I have the sun right in front of me, I wanted to get the light on, right? So I had to wear sunglasses to record the video, so, so um, yeah, it's definitely very very sunny here these days on Christmas. But let's dive into the content guys, so some things I'm looking uh, in when I'm looking into products to sell on Facebook, especially because most of my traffic comes from, comes from Facebook at this moment, is um, passionate products, right? So what do I mean by passionate products? It's niche-related products, products that are related to a specific topic, right? So to a very, very passionate topic. These are also called passion products, right? So what I've seen that sells the most, at least on Facebook, is products that when people see it, they are like, man, I need to buy this right away. I need to buy it now because if I don't buy it now, probably I will never never see it again. So the kinds of products that are selling the most for me are products that, you know, that people cannot buy on Walmart, products that, that are not very, very accessible because they are so unique, right? So to give you an example, um, for example, now that it's winter in the USA, I'm looking for products that are related to winter, but at the same time are, are narrowed down into a specific topic. Because, you know, you can sell the, any kinds of products on Facebook, right, or online or they're gonna sell there's always gonna be someone who's gonna buy your product but it's even easier if you have if you can hit the pleasure point or the pain point of the person who's buying if you manage to do that then they will most likely take out their credit card and buy so what i'm telling you here is for example uh, uh let, let me give you a good example it's winter in the usa right now so i'm looking for products that are related to winter so for example a cat a hoodie right a hoodie or a beanie that it's that is um that allows people to to be warmer on winter and it's also have like the ears of a cat right so we would be able to show this product to cat lovers that are in the usa and at this precise time is winter so you're pretty much hitting the the pain of winter right you're pretty much telling them hey it's gonna be cold out there you should wear this product it's a solution to your problem and at the same time we're hitting the pleasure point which is the cat they're cat lovers they have they have cats and they love them and they're absolutely passionate about them so these are the products that are kind of selling for me. So now let me tell you something. If you're selling apparel on Facebook, things like that, like, like t-shirts or socks or scarves or, or hoodies, things like that. Now people are not gonna buy your product because they need it, right? Because if they, would, if they need your product, then they will most likely go to Macy's or Walmart or something like that and they will buy the product. But they're gonna buy your product from your specific store because they cannot find that design any, anywhere else. They, there's something, that has to be super unique in your product that people say like, man, I need to buy this now because I'm sure I won't be able to find this anywhere else. Anywhere else. Actually, if they go to Amazon or something like that, they don't find it. That's, that's where reason, the reason I'm telling you that your product needs to be extremely unique, needs to have something that people say, man, I need to get this right away. So passionate products, you need to really look into, into specific niches. What has worked for me is specific niches. You know, some of the typical niches you hear about all the time are cats, dogs, um, you know, skiing, hunting, uh, what else, horses, all of these passionate niches are very common because, you know, marketers know that people are selling, I mean, people are buying stuff in those specific niches. Why? Because they're extremely passionate. So what I'm trying to tell you here is that you should find products that people say, that when people see them in their newsfeed or in your ad, wherever you are showing them, they say like, this is extremely unique and I've never seen this anywhere else and I need to buy it right now. So those are the passion products. You need to find, if, if you find a product that you say like, I like it, but it's not that cool, then probably you should be looking for something else. Because I'm telling you, I've sold, the last month in November, I sold over 15,000 units of a specific item, right? And, and just to tell you an example, this is not the, the type of products I was selling. For, for example, a t-shirt, right? Everybody has t-shirts and they, and they can be bought anywhere in the world, in any place, in Walmart, in, in, in a mall or whatever. But they bought my t-shirt, my t-shirt, because of my design. It was super, super specific and related to a niche. So when I showed it to those people in that niche, they were like, holy crap, never seen that before. And I've seen it over and over again with my coaching students, with people I know. They sell unique stuff. I always recommend to find uh, products that are very, very narrowed down. Because you know, even in the when you sell a uh, when you choose a product that is very very specific, you know, like like cats or 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 even like people who love hiking, right? Hiking is a very passionate niche. 
or even chess, that chess niche, it's easier to target on Facebook, right? Because if you just sell a regular watch, right? A watch, um, you know, doesn't have any, any topic or a niche or something. Yeah, it might be a very, very cool watch, but it's gonna be harder to target on Facebook because you don't have the interest that you have on Facebook are gonna be more general. You know, the, the, the watch niche is not like super passionate, right? But maybe if, if you found a watch that's specifically designed for people who love camping, right? Because it's dirt resistant, it's water resistant. Now you can show this watch to the camping lovers, right? Because now you're narrowing it down to a specific topic, to a certain group of people. This group of people is called an avatar, right? The avatar is your ideal target audience that's gonna buy your product. So what I'm telling you here, guys, is when you do your research, when you look for products in AliExpress.com, when you look for products on, on Facebook, do your spying, when you look for products on Pinterest, we're going to have videos about that, how to do that. I want you to look for products that you say, wow, I, I would even buy this if I was a cat lover. I would even buy this if I was a camping addict. I would even buy this if I was, you know, a tech geek, things like that. There are some products that I sell that I would actually say like, yeah, I would definitely buy that. So um, that's passion products. Passion products are the key to getting your online store going. And for me, that has been the easiest way to get my store up and running. Now, I have students who sell more general products, you know, like a scarf, a regular scarf. That's not that narrowed down, but they can be sold. Once you sell a lot of products on your Facebook ad account, your Facebook ad account is gonna get smarter. Your Facebook pixel gets smarter and they know what people are buying your stuff. So when you promote a more general product, it's still gonna sell because your Facebook ad account has a lot of data and it, it allows you to sell easier because they can find customers uh, way faster because of the data that it currently has. But if you're just turning out, the easiest way to, sell, to, to make sales guys is selling products that are niched down, narrowed down. That's, my, my, that's really my, my tip for today, uh, to find hot products. And uh, hope you apply it, guys. There are a bunch of products out there. Don't be limited to only, let's say, the cat niche or the dog niche, because you hear, hear them all the time. I, I saw products that are niches that I didn't even, even knew they existed. Actually, the niche that I sold the most products, these 15,000 units the last month, I didn't even knew it was a freaking niche. I just tried it, it worked, and turns out it's a passionate niche. Now what I did, I had this product that was selling, now what I wanna do, well, what I did actually is I applied the same concept, that, that, that people, the concept that people loved about that niche, and I created my own t-shirt designs. Now I'm selling print on demand. What I'm telling you here is that you just gotta find that passion. Why are people buying that certain type of product? Now, when you sell that and you learn why people are buying, you can take that concept and apply it to mugs, iPhone cases, t-shirts. Um, there's so many types of things out there, gloves, um, shoes. Uh, and, and, and also, if you are in, in the summertime, for example, you could target or you could search for products that are specifically related to summer. If you're in winter, for winter. So guys, that's my tip for today. I hope you got a lot of value. And if you did, just be able to um, just Subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave your comment below, I will answer your questions, like this video, and I will see you on the next one.